Good afternoon, everybody. It's Mike. It is it's Friday, the 23rd of December, and this is our weekly recap. First of all, to everybody out there, celebrates it. Very Merry Christmas to all. Um, everybody have a great weekend. If you want to join us, come on over to smartoptiontrade.com. My 2023 outlook is about done. It'll be available probably towards the end of next week. You can pre-pie it here. Uh, $99 for just that, or if you want a three-month bonus, three months in my room and the, the, the I'll perform names for $300. Uh, members, don't buy it. I'll let you know how you can get it. So we'll go from there. Anyway, smartoptiontrading.com, link in the description below. Let's talk about this and what's going on in the market here. So after last week's big sell-off, we came down. We had a nice two-day bounce before we sold back off again yesterday um, on a hot GDP number and David Tepper being very, very bearish. And today we had a mixed PCE number and the market is up a little bit here as we're going into low volume. Look at the size of the volume today here. It's coming up on 12 compared to the last couple of days. It's going to be probably a quiet afternoon. This is the type of day I would say the algos will take control for the afternoon. And, you know, if they want to, they'll rally us up. They may be in rally us all the way up to the eight day moving average here up at 285. Where do we go from here? We have a holiday on Monday. The markets are closed. Then we have Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Very, very quiet. No data really next week. And, you know, if the Santa is going to rally, you're going to get a slow, steady grind up. And in the first area, would be look up to the 289 area. And then if the market really wants to, it could try to work its way all the way up into the area, the 200-day around 399 area. If not, maybe we just chop around. It's tough to say this year. Um, it seems like we got a lot of selling out of the way the last couple of sessions and that maybe the sellers have exhausted themselves here. I did not trade a ton this week. Um, it was not the easiest weeks to trade. You know, what was good, it depended upon the moment and that time of day. Boeing broke out this week, gave a nice trade to many early on, but it couldn't hold and it came back in. Same thing with CAT. CAT also broke out, couldn't hold, you know, the breakout, but holding in. Moderna's had, you know, this big back and forth between 200 area, or you may even say the 190 area, 190 area and 210 as it's chopping around since that news. Nike had a very nice report. It's holding up real nicely here, and we'll keep an eye on that one as we go into next week. And then there's everything else. Tesla has absolutely been just shellacked and lit up. It's at a multi-year low here, all the way down to 121.02 now. And you can see the volume that was on it. This is huge. This here is capitulation style volume. If you look at the size of this, here is earnings, right? So on earnings the next day, it didn't even put in anywhere near the amount of volume we had on it yesterday, 210 million shares. Today at noon, we are already at 68 million shares. I'm sorry, 105 million shares traded, 106. So what's going on with Tesla? There's at least a lot of fear. They're slowing down. They're offering discounts. They're unhappy with Musk. And you know, we'll see how this plays out. We'll see how much lower it wants to go. but down 12 or 14 days it's overdue for a bounce and so far today it couldn't get it though it did get a screaming nice trade that we caught up in here on it as it came off the lows and put a high of the day and unfortunately it didn't hold what else apple out there apple remains weak put a just tested the june lows here amazon put a new 52 week low in yesterday holding it here today meta remains in this very very tight channel you can see how tight the bollinger bands are it's holding it better Microsoft kind of said, nope, fell apart. NVIDIA went down, is holding the 50-day. It's clinging to the 50-day moving average. AMD lost them all. And in general, tech has been weak and there's a lot of carnage. So as I go forward here at noon today on Friday and the 23rd, I wish you all a very Merry Christmas to people not coming in next week who aren't trading and a happy, healthy, and prosperous new year. If you want to learn about me, link the description below, and I'll catch you guys all on Tuesday morning.